reaches out over that front foot, one hand down by his chin or down by his waist. The other one, he is well short of where Usyk is. And then watch what happens now. Bang, bang, bang. Now he didn't What's up guys? Welcome to 8020 Sports. I am your host, Alvin Holden, also known as Project 8020 for if you know me from these YouTube streets. Um, in today's video, we're gonna look at uh, the last round of the Alexander Usyk versus Anthony Joshua 2 fight that happened this last weekend. And um, I did kind of a really light assessment of what would what I thought might happen in this fight based on you know just their styles and what happened in the first fight. For the most part, I think what I was saying came true. Um, it is a little bit of an interesting dynamic, like I said, because um, Alexander Usyk is a a bit of an anomaly uh, for a lot of different reasons. And like I said, I touched on that in the last video. He has a pretty extensive amateur career where he did get a lot of fights in. Um, he's a tough guy, tough SOB. He's undersized as far as a heavyweight is concerned. He was a, he, uh, just before he became a heavyweight, he was a, the, became one of the first cruiserweight title holders that had, had all the belts. He was undisputed at cruiserweight. And then he moved up to heavyweight and ended up taking a belt off of, uh, Anthony Joshua, but his size is always, well, at least at the beginning was a little bit of a concern. Anthony Joshua was a much larger man. Uh, most of the heavyweights in the heavyweight division are larger men, larger than Alexander. But again, guy's got fight tenacity. He has a kind of a strange style for a big guy, uh, which makes him hard to deal with. Um, ask Anthony Joshua. And uh, and so this is their second fight. Uh, this is the rematch. A lot, of, a lot of people would say that Anthony Joshua it wasn't ready for a rematch. A lot of people would say Anthony Joshua, unfortunately, wasn't talented enough to be in the the ring with the guys that he's been in lately. A lot of people would say that you know he was protected through his journey up into the into having a title and essentially never, never, never dealt with the type of uh, competition that he probably a normal champion may would have. I'll say it like that. So. Needless to say, Anthony Joshua uh, in here, Alexander Usyk, and this is the 12th round. And I think a lot of the things that I was kind of saying were going to happen did happen in this round, which is a good round for uh, for us to look at. I don't know if this is going to work the way it normally does because the zone's kind of funny about whether or not they allow a uh, video, but I think I can make it work. So anyways, we're going to watch just uh, what they have in the... Uh, uh, what they put out in their highlights. I'll actually put this video in this whole video in the description box below so you can watch the whole thing on your own, but we're just going to watch a little bitty piece of this. So in the corner of Anthony Joshua in Usyk's corner, it was almost like Usyk was meditating, talking to himself, trying to find three more minutes to hold on to all of his heavyweight. Okay. So what happened there? Well, Anthony Joshua had a hard time <clears throat> keeping up with Usyk. To be honest with you, he just doesn't move as well. Usyk, like I said, is I said this in my last video, is deceptively mobile. It doesn't seem like he's moving that fast, but one minute he's there, one minute he's not. Let's see. Uh, he is fighting Southpaw. Anthony Joshua is fighting Orthodox. Uh, a lot of things that happens. Uh, Usyk having his right hand forward did a lot of like rolling out rolling away from Joshua's power his, his uh, right hand and usually the way that you keep a southpaw from doing that is that you need to have a mean left hook so if Joshua would have had a, the type of left hook that he really need what would happen is whenever Usyk would roll around to get underneath to that offside, Joshua could throw a hook, a left hook and have him waiting for it. But whether Joshua never figured it out, um, whether his corner never had him try to make the adjustment to um, get him to stop doing or trying to upset Usyk for whatever reason, 
it, it never came. It never did. So this is little piece right here, and it seems stupid, but he did it the entire fight, and it he got out of trouble every single time. Right here, all right there. Minutes. See, simple. That's all he did. This time he he just he hopped when he did it, but you'll see again. Right. Let's see, he pushes him off there. The Dude, he didn't do that as ago. much. He didn't do it as often. Like now, why was that important? So Joshua throwing a straight right hand down the middle. So again, you're fighting a southpaw. That's a dangerous punch right down the middle. Uh, that's what you're susceptible to. So Joshua did throw a handful of those. He just didn't either, either landed soft, either uh, Usyk was moving away. Very few of them landed flush. He did rock Usyk a couple of times, but it just never seemed like Usyk was a, was like really, really on the ropes. He got hurt a couple of times during the fight, but it never really looked like he was in trouble. But I think he's doing it right. He's in a, he's in a roll up here in just a second. Oh, just like that. Okay, so he did that multiple, multiple times. Let's see that again. This wasn't the only time. That was a really good straight right hand that rocked the head back of Usyk. Boom. Now, another thing that Usyk did a lot of, he threw combinations, okay? Which is, you know, you wanna throw, what do they say? Throw, uh, throw your bun punches in bunches. Um, you know, you get in the habit of throwing single punches, single ones, single one twos. Your opponent gets uh, in the, gets in a, gets, I mean, you could use that to your advantage if you really were gonna use that to your advantage. Um, meaning like you were gonna lull someone to sleep and then when they weren't expecting you hit them with that one, two, three, or you throw a four punch combination in there. But what Usyk does is instead of throwing those shots hard, he follows those punches up and he'll throw a one, two, three, two, and then he'll move. He throws multiple punches. Now, the reality is, like I said, he doesn't punch very hard. He's really not trying to knock Joshua's head off, but he is touching him with those gloves and he's touching him enough to knock him off his balance, at least move his head back a little bit, just enough for the judges to see what's going on. So let's just watch that one part again. Right hand. That was a really good straight right hand. See, see, okay, do you see how he threw four punches? Then he rolled out. Let's watch this. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to slow this down. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. And we're going to hit the mute button here. Now watch. So, okay. Hands up. So, he throws that jab. Now, that jab, it almost, it was like almost like a raking jab, right? He just poked it out there. It wasn't even like he shot it straight out. He poked it out. What he did do is he pulled Joshua's hand down. Now, Joshua throws a hook on this side. He knows it's coming. He covers up. Boom! Well, takes that on the back. Uh, takes that on the uh, on the left hand, on the left hand. But he follows that with the jab right after. Right? Touch. Go. Boom. Boom. Right? Touch. Go. So boom. Boom. But see, he doesn't stop. So Joshua just only threw one shot. Watch what Usyk does. One, two, three. Now he slips, slip that punch, throws the hook, rolls underneath, gets out of the way, Joshua is left. Let's watch that one more time because sometimes you just don't know what you're looking at, all right? All right, so through the jab. He hit him with that jab, believe it or not. Hit him with that jab and pulled the hand down. Timing, oh, this is gonna come up in just a little bit, a little bit ago. Usyk has impeccable timing and I was saying that before, Usyk, is always he always pulls the trigger just before Joshua does but boom boom and then he knew it was coming through the jab covered up one two three roll or slip throw that other punch roll out of the way I'm talking so that does a couple of different things obviously he touched Joshua multiple times it is what it is right but it's also frustrating because and that does something to your psyche that does something to your confidence um, when you're swinging and throwing punches, you're getting hit, but you can't hit the other guy and he's standing right in front of you. Rolls out. <clears throat> now, here's the adjustment. And for my, um, for Joshua's coaches, I don't know whether they noticed this or not. Who the fuck am I? I'm just a guy on YouTube. But there's something that happens here quite a bit. And uh, I'm going to break it down for you. 
So that was good. He got back there. Good. Got back there. Now, like I was saying before, Joshua just has a hard time dealing with those shots and being able to throw right back. That's a problem. Just like Usyk a second ago, right? He threw a jab, caught a punch, and then threw a three-piece combo or a five-piece combo right afterwards. Joshua has a hard time doing that. We're gonna go ahead and speed this back up again. There's one thing I really want to show you guys. Oh, good. there, right there. Okay, God, I'm so glad it came up right, right where it did. Let's watch that part one more time, and then we're gonna slow it down, and I'll show you guys what you're looking at. Oh, good. And Jesus, got hit with the three piece. Okay, what happened? Okay, so if you want to pause this video, go down in the comments below and tell me what just happened. Cause I'm gonna break this down real quick because he ends up doing, he did this the whole fight and and he, they never made the adjustment. So one more time, full speed. Oh, good. Bop, 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 right? All right, so here's what happened. So Joshua threw a lead cross and he leaned out over his front foot and he got it and he got out over his feet. I got over his front foot and he had no balance. He had no defense and Usyk stepped back and then fired on him. So we're going to do this in slow motion. We're going to turn this mute down. All right. So Usyk now. The guy moves really well. He's got his back up against the ropes, right? Now, as a boxer, when you're in the ring, you know where the where the ropes are. So he knows where he is. He's either touched it with the back of his calf. He knows where the ring is in relation. So what he's going to do is he's going to slide down the ring. Now, what he's been doing this entire time has been moving to his left, getting away from um, trying to get away from that right hand because Joshua is going to be trying to knock him out with that right hand. So he doesn't want to be on that side. He keeps he keeps rolling off to this to the to his left. Joshua's Joshua's right. Right. So but this time he slides, he steps to the power right now. Some might say that he might have even goaded him into throwing that straight uh, that straight right hand. Who knows? Steps out, steps out now. Through the through a, through a hand up like a jab. He didn't throw the jab. He fainted. Loaded up though. He fainted. Loaded up to throw the throw the cross. Now, what did Usyk do? Usyk just stepped back because he's got a great sense of distance. He's got a great sense of timing. So what happened? He stepped back. Huh? Now, look where Joshua is. He throws that cross out over that front foot. Look where his head is. His head. Come on now. His head is out over that front foot, one hand down by his chin or down by his waist. The other one, he is well short of where Usyk is. And then watch what happens now. Bang, bang, bang. Now he didn't hit him hard, but he hit him three times. He hit him with a three piece. One, two, three. Let's watch that shit again. Um, he faints the jab, right? Usyk steps back. Perfect balance. Look where Usyk's legs are. Look where his body is. Now watch what happens. Huh? Throws a punch. Joshua's out over his front foot. Usyk still proper balance. Pushes off the back foot with perfect timing. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, let's just watch it one more time. Full speed. I'm a dick. I'm such a I'm such a mean person. Let's watch this one more time. I'm having more fun about it. I'm having more fun with this one than I thought I would. My bad. For some reason, I just wasn't all that super duper excited about this fight. But, but I like when I we you know you talk about something and you really want to break down boxing and share some things with people and you get an opportunity to really see see what we're talking about play out. Oh. Combination from. Oh, watch. Huh? oh good answer. I mean, and watch. With a three punch again. combination from Usyk. A big right hook. Stuck Ended that combination. The exclamation mark from Alexander. 
again he did the same thing now obviously into the fight he's desperate right he's desperate he's trying to get trying to get something in but right hook ended that work. combination the exclamation right. mark lazy jab you're loading the cross he knows you're gonna throw it right and you and and not only did he throw that off balance but he threw that and took a step with it i mean he literally lunged Usyk stepped back and comes right back. From Alexander pop, Usyk. Pop, pop. Hit him with the two-piece. Yeah, you're really seeing that fatigue and that frustration in Joshua right now. Oh! Now, he did clip him there. Alexander Usyk. Yeah, you're really seeing that fatigue and that frustration in Joshua right now. Oh! Yeah. Now, that's the hook he should have been throwing the whole fight. That's the hook he should have been throwing the whole fight but he didn't really throw that hook very often. So whenever Usyk ducked out and went around that way, he should have been head hunting every single time. He did, he did. Left hook hook. From Joshua. A right hand as well. Oh, now see. From Joshua. A right hand as well. Oh, now watch. See, he's loading it. He's loading that hook. Usyk's covering, right? So Usyk is almost better at defense than Joshua is at offense. Usyk's like, you should be punching me here right about now, but you're not. That's okay. And what, what I'm expecting coming next is a hook and I'm going to get up underneath that and I'm going to punch you in the gut on the way. Good reply from Usyk as he goes back down. Once again, three piece. The body and runs a combination upstairs. And Joshua gave Usyk that opening to reply like that. If you're Anthony Joshua in this situation, you land a punch that does damage. Usyk stunned several times and hurt to the body. Trade shots in the center. Of and see, and that was actually that little sequence was right there. I mean, where was all that head movement all the rest of the fight? I mean, I, like I said, I only saw bits and pieces of highlights. The zone sucks, and I didn't. I, I stopped paying for the zone, but you know, I did see some of the fight. You know, uh, and he just he couldn't do that. He was, the ring there. You know, the the jab of Usyk, the right hand of Joshua. Joshua looking fatigued, but to his credit, trying to crowd Usyk here, but he has just 60 seconds to make something happen. And that's to your point that you said a few rounds. That was, I don't think that was. He has just 60 seconds to make something happen. And that's to your point that you said a few rounds ago, Corey. Even if he's tired, even if he's hurt, he's still dangerous. Anthony Joshua can hurt you with any punch. Oh, big right hand from Joshua, but mm -hmm. Usyk just will yes, not mm -hmm. stop throwing. A defiant 12th round here from Alexander Usyk, who got... Anyways, you know, I would love to say that, uh, that something happened that I didn't expect to happen. That pretty much was exactly the way I expected it to go down. Um, congratulations to Alexander Usyk. Uh, like I said, he is the, the dynamo. Um, he is, you know, that undersized, undersized heavyweight. A lot of the other heavyweights consider or think that he's food, but I mean, hey, he went in there and beat Anthony Joshua twice. Now, you know, whether or not Anthony Joshua deserved to be the heavyweight champion of the world holding three of the four major belts, you could argue that left and right, but the reality is, is that Usyk, you know, beat him twice now. So, um, balls in his court, most likely. I know, um... Andy Ruiz wants to fight. I know um, Deontay Wilder wants to fight. I know Fury. I think Fury thinks he can beat Usyk. I think that would be the only thing to get Fury off the couch, to be honest. Um, he's not, never going to fight Wilder again. I don't think Wilder would ever fight him again. Uh, so Usyk has his pick of the litter. Um, there's a couple other heavyweights. I know that Wilder is fighting um, Hellenius soon i believe next month october in october if i'm not mistaken so that's going to be a good fight uh i actually heard somebody say something crazy like that's going to be a 50 50 fight i don't see that as being a 50 50 fight but anyways um just wanted to go over that really quick uh you know that's why he lost um he got out he he got desperate he threw some lungy punches uh Usyk threw three four punch combinations never stood in one place um and uh, joshua just had a hard time catching up to him so um class experience maybe i, I would say that that was a, a a huge experience gap between the two um 
I believe uh, Alexander Usyk has, has been fighting for a lot longer than people give him credit or they think that he has. So um, that makes him super duper dangerous. He's very, very experienced. He knows what the judges are doing. He makes contact. He touches you enough to see your head bop back. Um, he doesn't take too much punishment. Uh, he doesn't go in there, you know, with a firefight. You know, he keeps his hands up and keeps his hands in front of his face. And that's what makes him dangerous. So anyways, that's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Badu said it best. I'm an artist. Actually, you know what? Before I go to that, do me a huge favor. Like, subscribe, um, maybe share with your friends. Subscribe. That would be great. Uh, if you saw something you didn't like or you liked, hit me in the comments. Let me know. Things are going to be changing, moving things around. I'm kind of getting my feet planted here in these YouTube streets. So um, Eric Badu said it best. I'm an artist. I'm sensitive about my shit. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm a threat.